Uh, how, how many times are you expected to be watering your plants a day, uh, especially uh, these ones? Yeah, uh, normally it's three times a week. Yes. Yeah, that is especially in winter because it's not too hot. Yes. Three times a week is the right time. Isn't it? So with your experience, uh, how long have you been in this in this market of uh, flowers? These are flowers, right? Yeah, these are flowers, yeah. And I've seen there, there is also like aloe vera. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's aloe, uh, aloe vera. Aloe vera, yeah, yeah. This is aloe vera. And it's winter time at this area here in South Africa. Doing this will help all the plants, all the seedlings to come well. That's the owner there. So, do you grow them first or you just sell them with? I seedlings as they are. No, I split them. When they overgrown, I split them, start to make more. Isn't it? Yeah. So how's your market? Uh, the market is a bit down. It's a bit down. Only that uh, I've got some of the campus we I which I rely with. Okay. When they need uh, some stuff, then they ask me and say, "Do you have this? Do you have this?" If I have them, I say that I have, that I don't have, that I have, that I don't have. Isn't it? Yeah. So you, you're actually dealing with some companies that Yeah, you, there are you, some landscaping companies, yes. For landscaping. Yes. Because I've seen some pots like they're on its grass, grass, real grass. Look at these seedlings. Nursery. This grass. Isn't this amazing? It's especially like there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's real good thinking, eh? Yeah, it's some a, business there. It's a it's Aristida. We call it Aristida. It does have a it's not it's just like a grass. Isn't it? It's Aristida. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what do you call these these plants there? These are the cotyledon. The cotyledon. Cotyledon, yes. Isn't it? There's a various species on cotyledon. On cotyledon. Well. Yeah. And also that that are very I don't understand. It's it's a little bit different with that one that is down there. Uh, is it? The aloe vera, it's the. Uh, it, I think. Uh, why you? What do you say about it? Looks a bit different. The other one is more greener. The other one is purple. Oh, it's because that of other the one now is the, is red, the like it's that the, one. It's the frost. It's the frost. It's the frost, isn't it? Yes. But otherwise, they're supposed to be all green, especially when no, it's. No, they um, change. They change. Actually, in winter, they become with the frost. They become a bit like in that color. Yeah. Yeah, so the one which I agree with me, they've been covered, so they didn't get the damage from the window. Isn't it? Yeah. So are you also having some challenges getting some market, marketing your product? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a thing which is always there. Isn't it? It's, a, it's a just playing like a, it's like a game. It's like a game. I yeah, understand. it's like a game. On and off. On and off. How, how many years have you been in this game? Now I can say this should be my uh, third year. It's the third year. Isn't it? Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. You can see you're doing quite well here. And use these cells only winter time. What is that? These ones here. Uh, I know actually it's a shade netting just to cover. Just to cover? To cover the plants so that they, they grow nicely and the, the color, the green color become nicely. You can't get the hard. Uh, sunshine. Yeah, sunshine. So you use them either So it doesn't have to say it's a, this is summer, this is winter. Any no, time no, no, you just one, have to the use white it. One, those ones, yeah, those are the frost cover. Will you introduce yourself so that uh, people will know who you are and uh, the name of your business, everything that you are doing? Just introduce yourself to the people who are watching you right now. Uh, my name is Maxwell Dube. Yeah. Okay, and your, your business that you are, you are doing? Uh, the do you have a name for yeah, the business it's, it's Dube Nessaris. It's Dube Nessaris. Yes. All right. Um, interesting, because so many people would want to know where is this happening? Where is Mr. Dube doing the project? So, this area, what area is this one? What's the uh, name of this area? Uh, this is Winterveld. Winterveld. Yes. Okay, so Mr. Dube is actually situated in Winterveld, as you can see. And I'm shooting this video. It's around, what time is it now? It's around um, past four or so, African time. 
this is in South Africa, right? So yeah, anyone who's looking for flowers, this is the place that you can have. And this is the place that you can check it. And uh, I'll, I think I'll leave the link below so that you know exactly where Mr. can find Mr. Dube. So these are the guys here, they are busy and making the seedlings in these pots. As you can see, this place is quite amazing. Can't believe. So this is uh, manure. As you can see there. That's Oh, but uh, East Mission, like I mean, how many do you think here, how many might have? Uh, from, it, it might be quite a lot, but there's more babies inside. <laughs> the face is big, wow. it's huge. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. <laughs> Where are the fish for now? Oh, such big fish. How long have you been doing this this project? Uh, it might be nearly a year now. So you were telling us about the eggs. What happens with the eggs? Uh, when the uh, what is the, the when the fish is laying the what the eggs? Yes. It is surrounded with the um, <laughs> with the males. Yes. It is gonna be on the middle. The males will be on the sides. As it what it turns around, it is is laying. Is it laying? The males are. Are fertilizing the, the eggs in the eggs yes when when does that uh, usually happen does it happen uh, on a monthly basis no on seasonal normally uh, breeding time for the fish is it is it normal happens in october november, october, november. Is, when i know when i come i notice that and then how much time does it take like an after laying uh, the eggs how much time does it take for them to be hatched to be hatched is about 72 hours Yes. No, it's done for that period. 70, 72 hours only? 72 hours. Wow, that is fast, eh? And then how much time does it take for the young ones to grow? Uh, the, the time it takes to grow, normally actually from there, as I'm just doing in a Experiment and experiment as well. From your, yeah. I don't have much more information, to yes, but it's something yet to yeah, see. It's something which I'm also experiencing. And this portion here, some vegetables that side. Wow, it's quite a plot.